hello guys welcome to our channel and today we will come up very unique example which is how can we make a list of to-do list and in this list you can see what we will learn today uh, I already made a list for you like uh, the activities and the date on which you have to perform the activities and its uh, priority like a uh, high or if you want to uh, set this priority on a low base you can set it and the completion if I just click on it you can see the high priority and you will get the hundred percent and uh, if I just select this then then the task will be completed and uh, if the task completed then it will show uh, you the, with the color of green so what we learn today we will learn how to make this type of example or uh, how can we make a simple example from it uh, so I just uh, make the example and we will learn how can you make this example from a scratch so I just started uh, from the new sheet I just start uh, from the scratch so you will get the better understanding of how can we uh, make this type of sheet so first we just go here and in this I just write here from here serial number uh, now you have to write your uh, date and here you have to write uh, activities uh, tasks and the last one is items and make it space and here you have to write the priority and the last one is completion and in this you have to just write the serial uh, number six seven and in date you have to write the date so I just write here uh, the current date and paste it for you and here we just uh, use our activities which we just used in our previous one like our cat the groceries and cat call mom then get doctor appointment and the last pay electricity bill then for priorities and other things you have to just select the one and here you can see the center alignment and here you have to just make the thick border box and all borders so that it will be presentable make it bold and you have to just select this the all and make it color uh, make it color and for priorities first you have to just write the uh, status of priority like uh, we use three options first one is uh, high then medium and the last one is low and for setting the priority you use uh, data validation function so we will get the data validation function you have to select from here you can see the data and in data you can see the data validation functions and in this you can select the data validation and here you have to write the list and in the list it gives it tells you source so you have to just select all three values and click on it and you just need to drag it down so you can see it will select from the restricted uh, options which is high medium and low in this way our priority function completed now we will just go here in completion for completion we will use check marks and for check marks we have to use the developer option and in developer option we have to go here and insert and we have to select the first box which is from uh, form controls so go here and paste the checkbox so first you have to just uh, erase or eliminate the uh, comments and then you have to just put it on the right uh, place so and now you have to just drag it down so it will automatically give it to everywhere now you have to just connect these uh, boxes so you have to just go here and format control 
an informal control and the box appears and in it cell is linked so you have to just go here and link that cell okay you have to manually uh, do for every cell so I just do it for the uh, first four cells because we just want to know the example better and for last one I just go here and again select the whole cell link and this is how if you just select it you will get the values and in the priority you will also get the things now I just count uh, use count if function for counting the true values now you have to select the range for giving the range you have to select all four boxes comma now it says criteria so we just only want to now count the true so it says two because we have the only two true values and you can also use another one now you have to just write here equals to and select the whole values comma total number of our options or total number of our uh, counting is four so I just select here four close the bracket and again for the opening bracket and in the last I just multiply by 100 so it gives you the amount this is how we will get the amount now I just put this amount in that box and from here you have to just uh, select the uh, chart so you have to just go here insert and you can see the bar option in that bar you have to select this bar function so you can see the bar first you have to just go here in this bar and click on it in format access so we will just select the range so our range uh, for giving the range our minimum is uh, 0 and for our maximum is 100 so in this way we will give the range so you can see the counting now you have to just delete this you have to just delete this value and you have to select again delete this box uh, again this box you have to delete and you have to delete these lines this is the simple way now just you need to drag it for uh, making it smaller you can see uh, our box will uh, small also so you just need to make it uh, broader so how can we make it broader you can see the format data series and in this you can see the uh, no gap option so you have to just uh, drag it so that you will get the better values and now you have to just place it down in the right way and in the right uh, place drag it down and right here you have to just write your mid merge function and in center alignment so you will get the uh, better understanding of the values and now here you have to just select merge to do list and in to do list you have to just color it and here you can see the values now if for the last one you have to just uh, use the color function for getting the uh, task completed signals so you have to just select all the cells and you can see the conditional formatting option you have to go here and here you can see the manage rules I just go here in the manage rule and here you have to just use new rule and in this new rule you can see the use a for formula to determine which cell you want to now in this you have to just write the uh, formula so I just write here uh, and for combining the formulas first I write the dollar functions to make it constant and now I just want to say that if uh, it's not if f5 and equals to true comma and now here dollar and in dollar you have to give uh, c5 c5 and in c5 you have to just give the last one which is 
our symbols to complete the task now you have to just uh, give the values which you want to give so we just need to give the uh, color so for giving the color you have to just select the green one and you just select this green one and here it says address so you have to select the whole address and apply it to every cell and this is how you can see if I just make it true so it will uh, color it and it will automatically give the more percentage and if I just go here it will give 50 and if you select all these you will get the 100 and now you just uh, need to hide the cell so you will get uh, the total example of our previous one and you have to just may select the whole box thick powder box so this is how our example completed here you can see the more we task or the more we complete our task the more our progress list and the last we just complete the task so our last our task will be completed this is how our example completed if you like our example please share and subscribe it thank you so much